Scary Scenes for Halloween by Jill Williams Grover. Um, it, this is from the same publishing company that does, had done this book, The Ghostly Frights for Halloween Nights. So, got that. <laughs> um, this one's by Jill Williams Grover. So, you got an interesting table of contents. So, scary nipples, enter at your own risk, frightful feast, goblin gatherings. So, nice little there. And then, so, set up for scary bucket. And like pictured on page 12 so this would be page 12 and so if there's an image like a photo attached to it it would say underneath the um, name of the project and so you got candy candle page, on page 16 materials and then instructions on how to do it so, um, some of them have um, tips and then like this one has a handful of candy stitches pattern so if the pattern is small enough um they will put it here so or they'll just say enlarge by whatever so got like or like the diagrams because yeah any kind of like templates that it may have it would be with the uh craft so, skeleton jug pattern, like, depending on how big your jug, like, these ones don't look totally big, you could just use this size, or you could enlarge it if you wanted, because, like, none say to enlarge or anything, but depending on how you're doing it, you likely need to. So, there would always be some sort of example in photograph form of the craft though she would have like a few of them on one page commingling with each other so you get an ex example of how to work them together instead of here's just a picture of this one thing here's the next thing how it's just like how would they work together type of thing so which hat shoes broomsticks so, and from time to time you get like interesting kind of like illustrations, but it's more focused on like when you're done with it, here's what it would look like in a photograph form. Though some do have like the, the illustration style is kind of like almost a filler. So, insects cones can also be placed inside a jack-o'-lantern. So, you got different types of things, so invitations, spider tablecloth, so different decor type of pieces for inside and out and when you're doing entertaining. So, um, like how to, if you're really all uh, going like how to fold a napkin into like a bat kind of thing. So. A whole lot of different decor pieces so and you do get a few types of uh, treats in here so and uh, you do get a few um, recipes as well so uh, it's just uh, creamy chicken baked in a pumpkin, mom's pumpkin pie and pie crust, uh, pumpkin bars, pumpkin muffins, herb pumpkin bowl and cream cheese frosting. And then you do get a few um, conversion tables, like with a lot of other books. So, but yeah, um, once it's done with the conversion chart, it just goes into the index. So. Like, this one doesn't, like, 
with a few like usually I'm one for con introductions and conclusions like to introduce things and like wrap things up but for something like this I'm fine with that it without it having either one of them so it's just here's the decor pieces here's some recipes and here's how to make a good night I guess for Halloween so yeah scary scenes for Halloween happy readings